Hello and welcome to Next Generation, where we look at how long-term trends shape our future. This time, we're going to look at an initiative launched by the Chinese government called Made in China 2025, which should help China move its industry up the value chain. Alberto Perucchini, my colleague from Next Generation Research Analyst, is here to tell us why China's new initiative presents an untapped investment opportunity. Now, about to welcome to the show. You just published recently a next generation study on Made in China 2025. But the label Made in China is so common mm -hmm. in the society today. But why 2025? Well, Damien, quite correctly, Made in China is nothing new. Uh, China has been the new workshop of the world for the past few decades. Um, what is new is this government policy, which was formulated two years ago by the Chinese government, which is called Made in China 2025. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea behind this policy is to put innovation at the center of the Chinese economy in order for China to overcome the middle income trap and become an advanced economy. And it identifies innovation as the key enabler of this transformation. Uh, the policy focuses on 10 strategic industry, uh, which uh, range from semiconductors to, uh, you know, electric vehicles. Now, it sounds very ambitious, but how likely can China succeed, really? Uh, we actually find it increasingly likely that China will be able to deliver innovation. All the preconditions are there. There is ample government support, uh, especially with uh, innovation-friendly taxation, ample venture capital funding. Uh, there is a large, cheap and educated workforce. Uh, R&D, research and development, and IP intellectual property production are both um, increasing and are, are at elevated levels. So we believe the preconditions are there. And to a large extent, we see evidence of that already coming through. China leads the world in some industries such as digital commerce or uh, financial technology, fintech and digital payments or artificial intelligence, AI, and big data analysis. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also see uh, household appliances manufacturers being extremely globally competitive and innovative. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, uh, another piece of evidence is that China has consist consistently moved up the global sm smartphone supply chain and is now at the high end of the production rather than at the low end. What should investors take away from all these? You know, we believe that investors should uh, build exposure, as I mentioned before, in the, in the competitive areas of Chinese innovation, such as AI, uh, digital commerce, big data analysis. Uh, this is a given for us. Uh, additionally, we think that investors could uh, monitor the semiconductor space, uh, in particular in China, for catch-up potential with the rest of the world. And uh, additionally, we also think investors should monitor the new energy vehicle space, as uh, this industry is particularly supported in China, and particularly so at the sensors level. Thank you, Alberto. Made in China 2025 is a blueprint for China to move up the value chain and overcome the middle income trap. It is thus in the interest of the Chinese government to continue supporting innovation, which will be a major driver of future growth. We recommend that investors gain exposure to our Made in China 2025 theme as some of the winners and dominant firms, especially in digital commerce, fintech and big data, may have already emerged. We have now come to the end of this podcast and we wish all our Chinese viewers and everyone a very happy Lunar New Year 2018. Xin Yan Kuai